to install VirtualBox, make sure you go down to the description box down below. This is gonna be specifically on Windows. Now this could also be installed in other OSs. Go to download VirtualBox 7.0, and when you click this, you're gonna see that it says VirtualBox binaries and platform packages. Now, because we're on Windows, I'm gonna show you how to install it on a Windows VirtualBox. It's gonna download up here, and once you open up the VirtualBox file, just set it up. It's gonna to prepare to install it. Just hit next, next, next. And once it's fully installed, we're going to go inside of VirtualBox. Now that we have Oracle VM VirtualBox installed into the PC, now you wanna set up a operating system, whether it be a free OSD, Windows, Mac OS, whatever system that you want to install on your PC, just to even try it out to get an idea how it's like, Oracle VM VirtualBox is the perfect tool for that. So in order to get started, you're gonna to go to machine here. As you see, it's nice and fresh. We're gonna start a brand new machine. Now, say we install Windows. We're gonna put Windows here and we're gonna select the ISO file, however you get it, whichever ISO file you get, whether it's from Microsoft's official website or if you have your own ISO file. We will go to the, the downloads folder here and we will download Windows 11 Pro. So you just select that option and it's going to set up right here to let you know what you are installing. So you're gonna hit next and you can set up a username and password if you would like. So this is up to you, wherever you wanna set it. We got Windows, you can put the product key if you want to and we can install it in the background if you'd like. Now we have this all set up, we're gonna hit next and then you're gonna set up the virtual memory for however you would like it for your system. So you could, this system currently, it says it has about four gigabytes of memory. We're gonna increase it. Right now you need a minimum of four gigabytes. That's why VirtualBox recommended it and a storage of 64 gigabytes. Don't worry about graphic drivers or worry about CPU because again, this is a virtual box. Right now we're gonna set it up as 16 gigabytes of memory. We're gonna utilize at least 16 uh, CPU cores. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next spot and it has a minimum of 80 gigabytes and we're gonna just put 120 just to give it a little bit more room. Click next and now it's gonna install it into your system. There we go. We have our virtual box. So let it do its thing. It's gonna just be like a computer inside of a computer. Now this is great to try out other systems if you're interested in trying out say Mac OS or if you're interested in trying Linux or free OSD, there is a ton of different operating systems you can really try and just to know that Windows and Mac OS just aren't the only OSs to rule the PC space. Now currently you can see its size, this can be modified. It looks like a little box on the PC. You can always make it larger, but you have to integrate a little bit more of the video card. As of now, I'm gonna finish installing Windows before continuing to do so. The best part about VirtualBox is you can create more than one system. You don't have to just have just Windows, you have multiple machines. You can have as many as you would like, and it is a essential tool especially if you want to try out different systems or you want to test different applications or if you write different scripts for programming, it is a awesome tool to use. Just about finished. Just remember the important keyboard shortcuts such as your host key. What is the host key? The typical default host key is if you're using a Windows machine, it's going to be control. Right control will be your host key. And this will connect to other commands, such as a full screen, if you hit the host key, which is right control, and F, then it will go into a full screen. If you look up here into your view side, you can see that you do have other options, such as full screen mode, scaled mode, and you can even adjust the window side. You can have menu bar settings, and you can show sat status bar settings. In the virtual machine, if you want to choose a different host key you can you just simply go here and just put the host key combination and then you create it yourself right here if you choose to now if you want to and just remember this is a very important option if you hit right control and h it would be that will shut down your virtual machine 
Now VirtualBox has a ton of different options that you can do and it, they make it really simple to work with. Right now, you can see the size is pretty much automatic as of now, which is the 640 by 480. Now you can change the size if you would like, but first I just want to get this Windows installed so that way we can get our VirtualBox ready to go. Now we're looking solid. All we have to do is select our options here and continue with our VirtualBox. Now you're just gonna set this up just like how you would on a regular PC. So we'll skip all this stuff and we're just gonna go ahead and install Windows 11 on this machine. Now if you're wondering how to install any other OS, make sure you check down below because I will have also installed these different OS systems in VirtualBox. Now we have Windows 11 installed. Make sure you go over to devices and go into insert guest edition CD image. Once you do that, you're gonna go into your VirtualBox here and then you're just going to install it. So for now, I might act a little bit crazy because it still hasn't fully installed everything just quite yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to VirtualBox Windows Edition Just go ahead and install it and it should run a lot smoother once you get this in there this system should shouldn't be so laggy and so slow it'll act just like a normal pc once you have this so after we do this we can reboot the machine and i'll show you a couple things that we can do in order to get this machine to run better now we have VirtualBox officially installed. I'm still gonna install my favorite browser that I love to use, which is the DuckDuckGo browser. Now your machine should be working a lot quicker. And that's how you get Windows 11 practically running on your PC or your VirtualBox. Now, if you have any weird issues, if it still like slows down a lot, it comes from your core isolation setting here. If you type in core, and just make sure to have it off, otherwise it gets in the way of your virtual box. When it does, then it's gonna really slow down and it's not gonna really feel like a PC. Instead, it's gonna feel like you have a POS PC. Definitely do that. Let's change up the size here. Let's make it into a more large display. So in order to do this, what we have to do is we gotta actually exit out of virtual box. To do so, just hit the X key and we're just gonna uh, power off the machine. Once we go to settings, we're gonna to go to display. Now we see the memory is at 128. We also have this and we want to enable 3D acceleration. Let's make it a full 256. So that way we get even better display. And then on top of it, you wanna make sure that you have a decent amount of memory. So that way it moves a lot quicker and the processing power is quicker. Let's just move this down to eight just in case. And we're gonna go okay. Once we do that, we could start up the system and now it should even run even better. Now that we set up the video card properly, in order to get to the full screen to fill your monitor, right control F, now you get the full immersion of having your virtual machine. Now it feels like you are just like in a regular Windows PC. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is interested in installing a virtual box, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if not part of the Big Wonderful Fan Band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. If you are also interested in installing other OSs, make sure you check down in the description box as well. Fan Band, guys, what do you want to see? in the next upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.